Sean was 18, and we took him to the University of Texas at Dallas. He was a National Merit Scholar, and he was so happy to be going to the big city, to go to Dallas. We drove up that first day, and there were tables of people signing up for credit cards. But, you know, I didn't worry. He's 18. He's unemployed. Who's going to give him a credit card? He had gotten, at that point, 12 credit cards. I mean, he was still. He was making minimum wage. He had two MasterCards and a Visa. I think he had Discover, and he had uh, Neiman Marcus. Neiman Marcus. About 10 years ago, I realized that I had accumulated a nice chunk, about $12,000 worth of credit card debt that I wanted to get rid of. I was 20 years old, and I had a ton of debt already. Once upon a time, young Americans could at least count on getting a blue-collar job with a good salary and benefits. Not anymore. The only thing available to many young people today are low-paying jobs with no benefits at all. College now costs an average of over $30,000 a year for a private four-year school, or close to $13,000 for a public institution. The two-thirds of students who carry loans leave four-year schools owing about $19,000. Credit card companies know exactly who to go after. I believe they're exploiting the college students, an easy market. When you're working, you don't get the credit card applications. It's the college students that get it. So if you're going out there and you've got a job and you're actually working, they don't want you. He told me that he felt like he was a failure. And a week later, a week later, he hung himself. Death will be the only form of debt discharge that they will ever see. College kids are not the only targets. Of course, after September 11th, <laughs> that's all my career was, was in the military. And right before I got deployed overseas, I got married and, and we had a kid. We knew it was going to be a boy. Yeah, we found out before I went overseas. I wanted to know <laughs> if anything happened. My job didn't help me out or anything like that, you know, like a lot of law enforcement agencies do. They make up the difference in the pay. He was in Iraq and I called him and told him we can't make a truck payment, a trailer payment, pay bills, and buy groceries. We can't do all of that. There's just not enough money. It looks like the only way out is to file bankruptcy. More than 100,000 U.S. troops have been saddled with long-term debt in return for short-term cash from payday loan stores charging interest rates that would make the mob blush. Poorly paid soldiers put up their paychecks as collateral to these high